Hey y'all, what's up? Zeke in the kitchen again. The blind man in the kitchen. Y'all see what's in that bowl right there? That is some grind up um, garfish. Freshly caught. That's about two to three pounds. And we're about to make some garfish balls. Garfish is not everybody's favorite fish, but it's ours here in Louisiana, some of us. So I'm about to show y'all how to make some garfish balls, and I'm going to decide if I want to put it in the red gravy or do I want to put it in brown gravy. We're going to see. All right. And I'm going to measure the stuff out as I call it out. Now, this is going to be one of these recipes I do. I'm going to say um, in Louisiana, most of the time, we measure by taste. We just throw it in there, and we get good results. All right. <laughs> Let me show y'all right quick. Okay, so this is about three pounds of ground garfish. To that, I'm going to add two uh, potatoes to it. So that's two white potatoes. Put that in there. So, yeah, so you want to mix those. Want to mix those um, ball potatoes. About two to three. I chose two. You want to mix these um, two ball potatoes in your garfish. Get that. Okay. Mix that together right quick. All right, let's add about a uh, just about a half a cup of bread crumbs. So mix you some bread crumbs in there, about a half a cup. Hope my camera position in this. Hope y'all can see me. Let me show y'all how to do some good garfish balls. I'm a country boy. Born and raised, Louisiana. <laughs> Let's add two eggs in there. So, two eggs. Mm -hmm. What y'all know about this? And then two eggs in there. I got my right glove on because I'm gonna get nasty with it after a while and put my hands in there. I got my left hand with no glove in it because that's how I'm gonna measure my seasonings. Measure it by hand the way my mom and grandma and them taught me. Alright. Now this is the part where I'm gonna add a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Alright. This is what I like in my garfish balls. I like some red bell pepper. So, I'm gonna put about that much in there. I'm blind, so I don't know how much I'm putting. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna put a half. Let's put a half of red bell pepper, cause I need the other half to make my gravy with. Let's put, um, let's see here. Let's put a half of green bell pepper. Yeah, so put a half a green bell pepper in there. Okay, put that over there. Let's put some fresh parsley in there. Put some fresh parsley. I don't know how much that is. Let me do about a, let me do about a, about that much right there. I guess I can do a little more. Put about that much right there in there. Put that to the side. So that's how blind people gotta cook, y'all. We gotta be organized. I have to be organized. Here go my four cloves of garlic. So I got four cloves of garlic that I did with my garlic garlic press. Get all that fragrance in there. Okay. So I got my four cloves of garlic in there. I'm gonna have to cut some more up to cook with to make my gravy with. Um, here I have my white onion. That's about um, that's about a fourth of a white onion, cause I like green onion, which I'm gonna put in here. Here go my green onion. That's what I like. I like a lot of green onion in mine. I can't tell you how many that is. That's why I say this is the part where you measure how much you want. Put about, mm, okay, let me put this in a little more. 
Something about that green onion. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Okay, got all that in there. Let's see, do I have everything? Yeah, so I got all that in there. So, we'll do all this. And after that, I'm going to come back with my dry season is what I want to put in here. Then I'm going to put my hand in there. All right. Should put my hand in it now, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm, I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be cute with it right now. <laughs> it ain't no cuteness when you're doing Louisiana because that ain't that no cuteness to it. All right. <laughs> all right. You see all that's mixed up. All right. Now you know it ain't got no taste to it yet. Well, it got taste. Let's add some dry seasoning. This is the part where I say, here in, in Louisiana, we really don't measure. I tried sometimes to give you all um, measurements out the top of my head. But usually we just mix it to it and it be good. So for this particular, for these garfish balls here, I'm going to use me some Zatarin's, um, some Zatarin's Creole seasoning. I didn't want Tony to stop your mom. I wanted to do some Zatarin. So I'm going to measure my hand. So I'm going to say that's one teaspoon. That's two teaspoons. So I'm going to say that's about three teaspoons of that. I'm going to do about a teaspoon of white pepper. I like a little, I like a little white pepper heat. Let me do one more. Okay, me and Louisiana, we scared of pepper. There we go. Put some white pepper in there. All right, let's put a little black pepper in there. And see, I measure everything by me being blind. I have measuring spoons, but sometimes they're hard to get in these bottles. I'm gonna say that's one teaspoon. And that's two teaspoons. I mean, take, yeah, teaspoons, all right. Okay. Give me some black pepper in there, come on. Okay, put that in there. All right, you know we got to have some onion powder and garlic powder. You never can have too much. This is, uh, let me smell it. This is garlic powder. So I'm going to put one, two, that's about three teaspoons of garlic powder. Let's find the onion powder. Here we go. Some onion powder. Let's do about one. Two of those. And my last thing, let's do some lemon pepper. I'm just gonna do maybe and we gotta watch lemon pepper. Lemon pepper kind of salty. So I'm gonna do one. Okay, I'm gonna do two. And let me get my hand into this. So this one I start using. So I got that glove on. That's when I start mixing this with my hand. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna mix all this in. Mm -hmm. now, sometimes I make a little patty, a little small one, and I take it and put it on the oven. I mean, put it in my pan, in my um, I fry it to see if it has enough season in it. And I may do it this time too. All right, let me mix this right quick. Then we're going to roll them up and put them. All right, y'all got it all mixed up. I'm going to make me a little small ball. I got my hands washed already. Make me a small one like this. See, it's rollable. Make me a small one. I got my skillet on back there. And go like this. I'm going to make me a little patty. And I'm about to go see if it's seasoned enough. All right, let me wash my hands. I fried me a patty, and um, I fried me a patty, and it is seasoned correctly. Yes, it is seasoned very good. Only thing I did was I added me. I wanted a, I wanted a little more spice, so I added me about. Mm, I added me a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That's what I did. All right. My hands are clean and washed. All right. I'm going to take my scooper, my ice cream scooper. And I'm about to 
Let me show I'm in the key. Let me show I'm in my camera. Yeah. Take my ice cream scooper and I'm gonna scoop me up. So that way all my balls can be the same size. I don't know how many it's gonna make. Alright, that's one. So I'm putting it in my hand like that. Oh, that might be a little too big. Let me get a little less. Then again, it might be alright. Okay, get that size. Put it in the middle of my hand. I'm gonna roll it and put it on my tray. Take them and let them. I'm gonna take them and let them chill for a little while in the refrigerator, just a little bit. All right, back on my first ball. Oh, yeah, I can put a little out of that one. Yeah, buddy. All right, roll it up. Tight roll. I don't want them to come and loose when I'm frying them down. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me roll these on. Uh, let me roll them up. And we'll see how many we're going to get. Probably we're going to get quite a few of them. I decided not to do it in the red gravy since the last time I did. Of course, I did my cubillon, my court bouillon. <laughs> Let me say it correctly, my court bouillon. I did that in a red gravy. Let me. I'm gonna do this in a natural, natural brown gravy. All right, be right back. All right, y'all. Look, I ended up getting 21 garfish balls. Look at that. They smell good just with the season. <laughs> Oh, we get ready to cook these bad boys. Y'all can see them? Look at that. Make sure they're all in the camera. Yeah. 21 garfish balls. All right. But no, I'm going to put them in the fridge for a few minutes so they can be completely firm when I roll them in the flour and fry them down. All right. There we go. Tell me if I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>